What's going on YouTube family? Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel NC Tough TV. So family, I had a few loyal subs that hit me up through email and wanted me to talk about this situation involving Tati Westbrook and James Charles. Now for the record, I don't follow the cosmetics and makeup world, but this story has the internet on fire. So let's talk about it. Let me give my two cents of an opinion since everybody is giving their opinion as well. So I went back and I looked at Tati Westbrook's video, right? She did one video a couple of days ago outing her experience with James Charles. Then she did another video on yesterday explaining why she made the previous video talking about the negative experiences that she has encountered with James Charles or dealing with James Charles rather. So the first thing I want to say about this situation is that it seems that Tati Westbrook is a little bit jealous or maybe more jealous than we actually think about James Charles success because when you are a teacher, as she claims to be, and I believe that, you know, she mentored James Charles, but when you are a teacher and you see your students surpass you, it can really rub that teacher the wrong way, especially if you can't control that student, that former student of yours, to conform to what you want them to do for you. And I just personally think that some adults do not know how to differentiate the simple fact of when you help somebody that you don't have to expect anything in return because if you help somebody I would hope that you would be doing it from the kindness of your heart and it seems that Tati even though she mentored him her husband helped him sort through paperwork to make sure that he was getting great business deals it seems that the ulterior motive was not as genuine as you would think because now she's coming out with a video all right stating that she's very very upset with james charles from promoting a brand that's in competition with her brand now i get the whole thing about it's the principle of it james charles should be loyal not promote a brand that goes against someone that mentored him and it could potentially hurt her brand but she clearly said that the brand that he promoted in sugar bear hair would not have affected her bag so my question to tati westbrook is why make a video on a 19 year old kid now i'm not absolving james uh, Charles from anything because we're going to get into some of the things that he's responsible for because both of them are messy No one is clean here. All right. There's garbage in both of their backyards But when I break down Tati Westbrook's explanation for Her making a video and why she did it It almost reminds me of the saying that my mother used to tell me all the time and that is do not let people do anything for you because some people think that once they have helped you that they own you all right now tati westbrook went on to say that she felt some type of way because james charles never really invited her to his you know platform to do any makeup after all the time she invited him to her platform all right and basically helped him grow as a celebrity as a makeup artist and she's basically saying that she's responsible for his success why won't you invite me to your platform and that goes to show me that she should have listened to her husband from the start it's like how can you be best friends with a 19 year old you give him the tools you help him after you decided to help him you give him the tools necessary to succeed don't grow attached to a 19 year old and then come out and try to chastise him because he's acting like a 19 year old the boy is not even 21 years old yet you see what i'm saying your downfall or your mistake actually tati was attaching yourself deeply to a 19 year old 
you have to set boundaries. You agreed to help him, that's fine. But the twist is, I don't think that you felt that James Charles would make it as far as he did and end up surpassing you. And it could be hard watching a kid be on red carpets. I mean, he was just at the Met Gala a week ago, right? When Tiffany Haddish decided to pull out a bag of chicken out of a purse. Yeah, that Met Gala. But is it really hurting you that he's starting to or has gotten the recognition that you haven't gotten to and he's younger? I mean, because for you to come out and publicly do a video you are not trying to put out information where you try to save James from himself. Go on with that mess. Nobody is trying to hear that. You put out that video to straight put James Charles on blast because you were feeling some type of way. So what I would like to ask Tati Westbrook is this. Where was that same energy at when James Charles jumped on his Twitter and made those horrific comments about Africa and Ebola? All right. I didn't see you make a video then, you know, separating yourself from his comments, saying that your thoughts and opinions were not the same as James Charles when it came to the simple fact of his feelings about Africa and Ebola. You still elected to do videos with him. You coached him through it and you admitted that in your video. All right. And you know why you never took a stand when he made that controversial comment about Africa is because it doesn't directly affect your brand. All right, so she also brought up the simple fact that James Charles tries to manipulate men into doing what he wants them to do uh, on a relationship level, and she feels that his celebrity and his money has gotten to his head. Now, this is my take on that. If you have a problem with James Charles not representing your brand, but representing a competitor against your brand, then just keep it as that. So Tati also pointed out that, you know, James has a bit of a younger following and rightfully so, the kid is only 19 years old. So my question to Tati is, why did you go into graphic detail in discussing the things that he would say around your family, around his family, all right, that was highly inappropriate? Why would you go into graphic detail discussing this man's intimate encounters, knowing that he has a younger audience? And see, that was the tactic that you use to get him in a position, to put him in a position where he lost all those subscribers. That was the kicker right there. It wasn't the simple fact that he promoted another vitamin, right? That would go against your vitamin, all right? It was the simple fact of when you started discussing this man's personal life, um, going into detail about what he likes in an intimate way. All right, so family, before I go, I don't wanna make too long of a video because everybody has covered this story. I just wanted to give my two cents. Before I go, I want to kind of point out the dynamics in this situation, uh, dealing with James Charles versus Tati, and then if you look at a Tasha K and a Lovely T. Now, I know that there are two different stories. They're, two, they're in two different worlds. I get that, but there is a direct correlation between the two. So check this out. So when Tasha K made a post on her community feed, she was stating that she never wanted this to go down between her and Lovely T. People that are subscribed to her are now saying that they're gonna unsubscribe from Lovely T and she never wanted that. And then if you look at Tati's uh, video that she put out yesterday, uh, saying why she actually did the video in the first place in regards to James Charles, she was saying the same thing, that she didn't wanna gain subscribers, um, she don't want people to unsubscribe from James Charles. Let me tell y'all something, that is a tactic. Because listen, when you put it out there, when you post something and you make something public, what you do is you, in a way, you can say that you didn't want it to go down like that, but you plant the seed for your followers to do just that. So if you're saying that people are stating that they were gonna unsubscribe from Lovely T and in the James Charles situation, Tati was saying that she didn't want people to unsubscribe from him. 
you're putting that seed into your followers head to unsubscribe from that person and then you're acting as if you don't want that to happen by saying you don't but you're planting the seed which causes people to actually go and do that in many cases so that is a game that many people play that is a game that I've seen played a lot where people will come out and say, oh, I don't want this to happen and I never wanted that to happen. And because your fans see that you're so emotional about it, it will propel them to do exactly what you're saying that everybody is starting to do. And that is in Tasha K and Lovely T situation, uh, she said that they were unsubscribing from Lovely T, right? So if they see the emotion in that post, People are going to go unsubscribe from Lovely T. And in Tati Westbrook's and James Charles situation, she's saying that she never wanted that to happen and she's crying behind it with her fans seeing that they're that she's so emotional about the situation, it will propel them again to go and unsubscribe from James Charles. So watch out for that game. I've seen that many many times because if you didn't want people to unsubscribe from a particular individual why mention that people are unsubscribing from that particular youtuber but anyway guys i'm done with this if you like this video give it a thumbs up also share this video and if you're new here don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell to be notified of when i will drop my next video it's been real peace